Let's face it, this city would go nuts if we found a factory was dumping toxic waste into our lakes. But contractors that cut corners through unsafe practices and low wages damage the city just as much, resulting in millions of dollars in public expenses. Without insurance or workers' compensation, when a worker is injured on a job site, it's usually us, the taxpayers, that are picking up the bill. Well, you, you know, obviously we have tons of safety nets, if you, if you will. And many folks have to u utilize those services that these nonprofits uh, provide just to get by on a day-to-day -day basis. When you have an injury on the job and you have to go to the doctor that day, your choices are limited. Uh, you, you either go to Brackenridge um, or you hope that you get better and aren't that injured. And that's really not an option in, in many of these cases. And so when they come down to Brackenridge, we treat them. We take care of them as best we can. Um, and we try to pay for that through our health care district. It's about $95 million a year that goes towards health care. So if you live in the Travis County area, you pay on your property taxes uh, a certain amount that goes directly to the health care district. I, th I think the ripple effect of it is, is that it doesn't just cost the taxpayers that one time. Uh, it costs the entire community multiple times because now the person is missing work, so their family is having to reach out to uh, more social service networks to be able to provide food and uh, you know just day-to-day -day items while the person's in recovery. So it's, it's a vicious cycle. It's, it's very short-sighted in the sense that the state of Texas um, has revisited the workers' compensation issue and doesn't require employers to provide uh, the level of coverage that's necessary for the risks inherent with the job. It, an employer that chooses to not provide that additional funding uh, for workers' compensation coverage is looking at this in a very short-sighted view and not looking at the full impacts that it could have, not just on their industry and their profit margin, but the impact that it has on the community. Your taxes will never ever go down until uh, the state and, and municipalities like the city of Austin really take the businesses and, and help them understand that paying a living wage and providing the necessary health care coverage is going to affect you know, the entire community and help the entire community. We're really not going to see a change. Industrial polluters leave it to the public to clean up their messes and unscrupulous contractors do too. It's not right for builders to not look after their employees, and it's not right for them to force the public to pay for their mistakes.